Hello, welcome to Shoebox uh, Studios or Productions. This is where I live, this is where I dream, this is where I breathe, this is where I do all kinds of things that we won't go into right now. But above all, what I want to take you through today, or over the next few days I imagine, is the process of getting that song out of my head, into the studio, recorded, and finally on the internet where my friends can hear it. Um, recently I've been doing a lot of writing to other people's lyrics. Uh, people have been sending me some really fine lyrics and I've been enjoying doing it. It's a, a slightly different challenge to bring the lyric and the, and the music together. Normally when I do this uh, the lyrical idea comes with the melodic idea like a little seed and it develops from there. Always in my mind. I never use an instrument while I'm composing. Recently I've been writing more poetry and the other day I came across this poem and I'll read a bit of it to you now to explain how it works its way out into music. How can I express the way I'm feeling now? It's gone, it's gone away. Does inspiration ever stay? Anyone I have in mind, I can't forget. Forgive and let go, slipping through my fingers. That was really badly read, but never mind. Um, it has a certain flow, it has a certain syntax, and I find that when I got a new poem, if I play it over and over in my head, a melody starts to naturally come along. So, I'm just going to take a trip over to the piano now. I have cheated with some, I have taken out the harmony already. But having said that, um, when the song's perfectly formed in your mind, putting the harmony to it is really a formality. You know what that harmony is going to be before you even play the instrument. Because after 40 odd years of, of writing music, I should have learned something by now. Anyway, off to the piano. Okay, so, flipping over to the piano. Very convenient. I'll take those lyrics that I just read and I'll produce them with the harmony and the melody that I've uh, decided to use. Um, you'll notice uh, maybe that the syntax, the way it was read, the rhythm it was read in, has been duplicated. The only thing I've really done here is put some melody to the words. Quite simple, really. How can I express the way I'm feeling? No, no, let me do that again. How can I express the way I'm feeling? Okay, so we just walked through to Shoebox Studios, and here it is. You can see it really is a shoebox. It's very small indeed, and uh, you couldn't swing a cat in here. Not that I want to swing a cat. Uh, here you see the master keyboard covered in the tartan of my clan. I just expose that. There yeah, she is, nice little beast. Uh, just take this off here. Get the mixer up and running. First thing to switch on. Yes, indeed. Down here, do the computer up. Uh, should be sparking up any minute now. Monitors on. 
keyboard on. That's about it for now. That's all about. That's all about. I'm going to need to to get started. So here we are. I'm just going to spark up the, the program, which is a an old version of Logic. I haven't got a new version. I'm about 15 years out of date. But you know, uh, it still does the same business that it does uh, today. It's just a bit slower. That's all. Like me. Anyway, the program loading in there it shouldn't take too long to do. This particular song is going to be a very big production number, and for that reason, I'm not too worried in the beginning about what sounds I'm going to be using. I have to find a tempo. Uh, this song's quite slow. I think it'll be. Okay. I should think we're putting this up to about 78. Okay, that'll do. Right, so I've got my tempo. Yes, indeed, I have my tempo. And from that, I'm going to build everything up. For example, a lot of people begin with the drums. This is quite a normal thing to do. It's a traditional thing to do. Back in the old days when we actually didn't use digital, uh, we always started with the bass and drums uh, together. Uh, and then after the drums were down, the bass would be put on. Well, in fact, I do things a little bit in reverse these days. I start by recording the bass. So the first thing I've got to do is just get a bass sound up. Now, uh, how do we do that? Well, that should be explained in just a second. Now, these are the virtual instruments section. Now, to the layman, that doesn't mean very much. Now, I'm looking for a bass right now. I'm just going to just pick anything out, really. Uh, uh, that'll do. Uh, okay. Okay, so that'll do just for a basic bass sound. I'm, I'm not going to do anything too exciting to start off with because really I'm not that bothered about picking sounds right now. The beautiful thing about MIDI music is that you can um, you can mess around with it. You don't. Everything you can do is undoable. Yes, indeed. Everything you can do is undoable. Everything's actually controlled uh, from the keyboard, as you can see here, I hope. Um, now, it's an awful bass sound, but that doesn't really bother me right now because what I'm going to do is just uh, get the feel. And the way I'm going to get the feel happening is by beginning with the bass. All will be explained. So now I'm going to record the bass. Uh, it's important, of course that I know what I'm going to record, that I have the bass very clearly in my mind. And that's the reason why I spent two days thinking this song in my head, so I know exactly what I'm going to play. So, here goes, trying to record, doing everything at the same time. Okay, so I copy my track and I open it up and you see here are all the notes from the bass. Um, I've copied the bass track and now what I have to do is I have to change those notes so that they all trigger off the sound of the bass drum. I'll show you what I mean. Look, I simply open up where I have now my kick drum and you see all these notes here? Well, I select all the ones that are similar to that and I just bring them down. So now I've put a kick drum that goes perfectly with the bass. Trust me. Here it is. Let's play it back so you can hear it. This is just the bass on its own. Oh. Like this. What it should do. Yeah. 
Okay, now I put the kick drum with that. There's the kick on its own. And uh, then they're both together. And if I put a click track in, you can hear that too. Okay, doesn't sound very good yet, does it? Hmm. Well, I'll put a piano with that, and let's just have a little listen to what happens. Here we go. the piano as natural as possible these programs they correct your, uh, they correct you if you like I like to have my piano really open so hearing it back now without listening to the click this is what I've got So if I add the the the, uh, the click track to it, we have more rhythm coming along. But I don't want to make this complicated. There's a lot of drums to do there. I've got side fills, I've got hi hats, cymbals, lots of different drumming things to do. I just want to keep the thing at the moment, just like this. The only thing I'm going to do is put a little side rim stick and then I'm going to leave that as it is and build on it. I won't touch the drums until I've got everything else recorded. Okay? Oh, what were things taking such a long time uh, with the filming and everything else? All I've done so far is exactly what you've seen. So I'm going to have some lunch now, or I'm eating some lunch right now, and I'll be back with you very soon. Uh, do forgive me while I'm, I don't like eating alone. Well, you know, people watching me when I'm eating. You see what I mean? Don't like people watching me eating. Not really, will you go away? Are you still there? I'm just going to have to switch you off, aren't I? Well, it's been another day in the studio, as it were. And um, it's all over now. All I've done is uh, build a little bit on what I've already done before, what you've already seen me do, and in the same fashion. I haven't drawn any other instruments down except for a rim shot, which you can hear in there in the background maybe. Nothing's mixed yet, nothing's been treated. Just uh, simply playing away. You see the songs developing a little bit. Um, tomorrow will be a good day because I think I'll start doing virtual instruments, instruments of the orchestra, other piano sounds, keyboard days, and music for them. Okay, well, as the song modulates into, I think, let's do a chorus, uh, I'll leave you, and it will leave me, I don't know what I'm saying, <laughs> fades away, uh, one thing fades into another, I'll leave you and uh, have a little rest, a little relax, a cup of tea or something, and tomorrow, well, Let's see where this song takes us. It feels spectrish here, isn't it?